Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, good, good. Preloaders, VI Preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, and you know this by now, or at least you should. For those of you that are new to this channel, welcome to you as well. My name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol Motorcycle Lieutenant, and the name of this wonderful channel is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. Man, I'm excited, guys. This is part two of the 10-part series. This is my girl, Allure. She's a 2023 Harley-Davidson breakout, and this series covers can you do slow-speed maneuvers on a Harley-Davidson breakout, and it's covering me doing slow-speed maneuvers on all 10 of the exercises that I do out here. And today's exercise, as simple as it may seem, there are some people that still struggle with it. And once again, we're dealing with coming to a smooth stop, right? But now instead of doing it smoothly from a slow speed and stopping at a slow speed and staying slow, now we're gonna be doing it from speed, right? So in this exercise, I'm gonna ride to the camera, I'm gonna go up to second gear, and then as I'm coming to a stop, I'm gonna downshift, Initially, I'm gonna be on my front brake because again, I'm gonna be going at a good clip of speed. I don't know, 20, 25 miles per hour. And right before I'm gonna bring my motorcycle to a complete stop, I'm gonna transition from my front brake to my rear brake only. And that transition is gonna happen between one and 10 miles per hour. It's almost gonna be right before I stop because that's finishing off the stop. I'm ensuring that it's smooth. And if I'm coming to a stop and it's, one of those stops where it's not gonna be smooth because I'm going so slow that now the motorcycle starts to waver, like the coin rolling across the table, I need to be able to go back into the friction zone to address that while covering the rear brake at the same time and then come to a smooth stop. And I can't do that if I'm touching this front brake. All right, guys? So, without further ado, let's do it. Front brake, downshift, front brake, front brake, front brake, front brake, front brake. Finish it off with the rear, foot down nice and easy. And then the second part of this exercise is taking off. Because you want to take off, you want to make sure that your throttle's high enough so that you don't stall out or anything like that, or it shouldn't be puttering, right? So we follow the first five steps like we always do. We downshifted already, but it's part of our DNA now. It's muscle memory. We make sure it's in first gear. We cover the rear brake. We preload the throttle and we keep it loaded. We slowly release the clutch into the friction zone, and as soon as the motorcycle starts to move, we pick up our foot. So when I say preload the throttle and keep it loaded, we're doing all of this quick. You're not sitting there like this. Once you get all this down, you just do it. Reload, release the clutch, nice and easy. So remember, we play how we practice. And you might go, why do I have to cover the rear brake if nothing's in front of me and I know I'm not gonna start off slow? Cover it anyway, right? Because it's something that can happen before you leave. But the point is, once it's time for you to leave and you preload the throttle, open up the clutch, as soon as you start to move, just take your foot off your rear brake. Guys, this motorcycle is fast as a mother I'm telling you, man, oh my God. <laughs> it, I mean, I gotta make sure that I'm making sure I'm holding on before I hit this throttle because it's, whoo, it's insane. Anyway, guys, that's it, right? It's simple, right? But it's something I want you to practice. And the reason why we do this exercise also is I want you to practice downshifting while you're braking because this is not emergency braking, but when you are doing emergency braking, guess what else you should be doing other than just applying both brakes? You should be downshifting, right? Downshift, downshift, downshift. Because once you get down to a slower speed, 
you want to be in first gear or a lower gear just in case you have to do some slow speed maneuvers. If you're in the wrong gear, that's probably not going to end up well. All right, guys? All right. Hope this was helpful, guys. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Like, comment, and share these videos with somebody that you care about or even somebody that you don't even know. All right, guys? See, time doesn't equal practice time, guys. And if you have time to ride your motorcycle, please make time to practice on it. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.